In this video, I'm going to do a stock analysis on Stanley, Black & Decker to help you determine if you should be buying, holding or selling the stock. So the first thing I usually look at is the basics. And as you can see, the stock is currently trading at $202.20 and they've got a market cap of $32.95 billion. Then I like to look at the multiples to see how expensive this stock is compared to the last five years. As you can see with a PE ratio, it is undervalued compared to the last five years, sitting at 18.1 versus 25. And then looking at the price to book, it is a little bit, little bit overvalued, sitting at 3.2 versus 3.18. So it's a very, very small margin. Then price to sales, also a little bit overvalued, 1.9 versus 1.8. But then the price to cash flow is lower than the five year average, sitting at 13.5 versus 15.4 and currently the price to free cash flow is sitting at 16.25 which is actually not bad at all. Now I'm going to look at the fundamentals and the first thing I'm going to look at is the revenue. So looking at the revenues we will see that the revenues have been increasing over the last four years especially from 2020 to the trailing 12 months it has been really good. Then I like to look at the earnings per share and as you can see there's been a slight drop there in 2018 but then it has recovered very nicely again up to the trailing 12 months. The next thing I look at is the return on equity and the return on invested capital and with both these metrics I generally have a benchmark of 10%. In this case with the return on equity it is currently sitting at 19% and as you can see except for 2018 it has always been doing more than 10%. Which then takes me to the return on invested capital and once again here as well 2018 being lower than 10% but currently sitting at 13.6% which is really good. So the next thing I then look at is the gross margins and as you can see here the gross margins are looking pretty healthy. It is pretty consistent sitting between 33-36%. There was a slight drop up until 2019 going down to 33 but it has recovered quite nicely and the gross margins are actually increasing. Which then takes us to the net margins and as you can see the net margins is increasing year on year which is really good. Going from 4% all the way up to 11%. So that is really good. Right. So then I head over to the operating cash flows which is the money that they make from the day to day operations. As you can see it has been in an uptrend and for the last three years it has been doing really really well. Once again that drop in 2018. Which then takes us to the free cash flows which is the operating cash flows minus capital expenditure. And this is basically a mirror image of the operating cash flows. As you can see it has also been in an uptrend once again with that drop in 2018. So the next thing I look at is the current ratio. Now the current ratio I want companies to have a current ratio of one or higher. This tells me if they have got more current assets than current liabilities. In this case it is sitting at 1.2 so they do have more current assets than current liabilities. Then I like to look at the debt to equity ratio. Now with the debt to equity ratio I generally want companies to have a debt to equity ratio of 40% or less and that is pretty conservative. So at the moment as you can see it is sitting at around 40% so they do meet that criteria. Then the last thing I look at is the shares outstanding to see if there's any shareholder dilution going on. As you can see there has been a little bit but it's hardly any so it's not really anything to be worried about at all. This takes us to my 10 point checklist. I'm now going to score them down in my 10 point checklist and see how they perform in terms of the fundamentals. So the current ratio is more than one sitting at 1.2. The debt to equity ratio unfortunately they just missed that. I kind of feel bad scoring them no for this one. It's sitting at 41% but my criteria is 40%. The revenues have been growing by 7.1% over the last four years. The return on equity is sitting at 18.9, the return on invested capital 13.6. The free cash flows have been growing by 19.5% compounded annual growth over the last four years and the operating cash flows by 13.9. Gross margins sitting at 36% and net margins 10.6. The earnings per share have been growing by 8.6 over the last four years and that is mostly due to that drop in 2018 which scores them 8 out of 10 for the fundamentals. 
So that is really, really impressive fundamentals. It looks really good for this company. However, now I'm going to head over to the insider trading to see what the insiders are doing. If they are buying shares, it means that they are positive about the stock price going up in the future. And if they are selling shares, well, then it's the opposite. If you like this analysis so far, please remember to click that like button below this video. It really helps out our channel a lot. So with that being said, let's head over to the insider trading to see what the insiders are doing. At the moment, you will see that the total shares held by insiders is 409,000 shares. And the net purchases has been 106,000 over the last six months. Purchases was 158,000, sales was 51, which gives you the net of 106. So this means that the insiders have bought 35% of the insider shares, which is a lot. It means that the insiders are very, very bullish about this stock going up in the future. And there's probably something that they know that will propel this stock price in the future as well. Usually when the insiders are buying that amount of shares, then it means that they are very positive. So this is definitely something to keep in mind and definitely something to look deeper into. Which then takes us to the final part of this video, which is my verdict around this stock and what I think about this stock. So looking at the fundamentals, we can see that it's sitting at eight out of 10. So very, very good fundamentals. The insiders are not selling shares, they're actually buying up a lot of shares. So that's a really good sign. The current price is $202. The analyst 12 month target is $237 and my fair price is also sitting at around $239, which means that I think that this stock currently is a buy. Black & Decker obviously is a very established company and they've got a really, really good track record. I would say this is a really impressive stock and I think this is something you need to look deeper into. Personally, I feel by just looking at the fundamentals that this is a great stock to have in your portfolio. If you like money, creating wealth and want financial freedom, please join our money tribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video now. And because I know you need a little extra motivation, every month we will give away a copy of our book, The Money Secret, along with some really cool channel merchandise. And we will give it to active subscribers on this channel. So make sure to click the subscribe button below this video now and click the bell icon to be notified whenever we do more videos like this.